we're going to test your ankle dorsiflexion range of motion in this self-assessment. So again, this is not an exercise. This is a test to really see what's happening in this ankle joint. Now, though people could be restricted in plantar flexion, meaning can I sit onto my heels? You can test that real quick. We're not going to necessarily focus on that, but this is a way that you can even just start improving it, sitting on your feet like this. So this is plantar flexion when our foot is pointed. But the one that limits people a lot and might cause pain in other places is dorsiflexion. So being able to bring the toes up toward the shin here. And why we need this, why it's important. First of all, if I'm going to be going downstairs, my knee has to pass my toe as I go down. Or say I'm hiking and I go down a hill. Again, as I lower down, my my knee has to pass my toe, which means I need this ankle dorsiflexion range of motion. If I do not have that, I end up putting a lot more pressure onto my knee joint itself. The other thing about not having good range of motion here at the ankle is that when we think about how the body's all connected, we want to look all the way from the toes all the way up the back of the foot, okay? And if I am restricted in being able to get the these tissues back here along my calf to elongate and stretch, then I could be restricting what's happening at the bottom of my foot too. So say any plantar fasciitis, any foot pain like neuromas, maybe some ankle instability itself. The other thing that you could be having going on, say I like to run and I like to sprint. Well, I need to be able to pick up my foot as I come around. And it's super crucial to get this ankle dorsiflexion. Inadequate ankle dorsiflexion could lead to things like shin splints. So getting a lot of pressure along here or even along the inside of that foot. Okay. This is all so common if we're just lacking ankle dorsiflexion. This is why it's one of the the crucial assessments that I like to make sure that people come back to. Now, we're going to use the wall to test. So if you have an empty wall around you that you can use, or if you have like a pole, something vertical and straight up that your knee can come to, this is what we're going to be testing. Okay. And I'm going to test it in two different ways that we're going to, I'm going to show you here. Now, the first one, we want to have the foot about four to five inches away from the wall. I usually say it's about a palm width. So if I put my palm down and then I put my toe down, can I get my knee without my heel lifted? Can I get that to touch the wall? Honestly, for me, I'm a little bit restricted in that right side. The other thing you want to check, am I letting my hip kind of pop out to the side to touch that knee. That's a little bit of cheating because if you thought about it, if I put my hip out to the side and squat it, I wouldn't be squatting or lunging or wanting to squat and lunge that way, right? I'd want to be in alignment. I want my hip to be back over my knee, right over my second to third toe. So that's how we also want to measure. We want to make sure everything is in that straight line. So again, if I come about four to five inches away from the wall, keeping my foot down. So I want you to do this with me. Bring this knee forward. Can I touch it? How far away? You can even do a little measurement. Like mine is maybe like a little thumb width at the top apart. Now I know where I'm at and where I get to move to if I start to progress and keep progressing with it. Test the other side. So again, about four to five inches or about a palm width away. And then I want to see, keep my hip straight. Can I get my knee to touch the wall? And I'm almost there. I am out of like a finger width apart on that one. So almost on both of those. Now that is really taking the top of that muscle kind of out of the picture and only looking more so at like the Achilles and the bottom of that foot known as your soleus kind of deeper into that. Now we're going to see, okay, let's put that muscle back into the play just a little bit. We're still gonna have the knee bent here, so it's still gonna be out just a little bit, but I wanna again, four to five inches away from the wall, so now we're gonna be standing. And now again, keeping, can I get that knee forward? Now for me, this is a lot easier, so that might mean that the top here of my muscle isn't so tight. So maybe I have good mobility here. My mobility is lacking maybe a little bit lower along that foot. So test the other side. 
And again, can I get that knee to the wall? For me, I can. So again, I don't have so much restriction here, maybe at the top of my calf, but more at the bottom. Here's the other thing. If you feel it right in the front of that joint, it's more of a joint restriction. So that means the bones are a little bit tight. It's still going to be released over time. Okay. So even if I put my hand on a band, whatever, we know now that it's not mechanically necessarily moving anything. It's more so just feedback for my brain to remind my body, like I can move, I can move, I can move. So the more we continue to move into these areas, the better that they're going to become. And to really guide you through that process, I do have a foot ankle program links below. I have a full program for you to really work through this as well as knee pain, foot pain. Like there's so many programs that we have curated for you that I created so that you can continue to work through this process and make it functional, make it strong and make it long lasting. It takes time and consistency, but with guidance, it can definitely improve so that you start to hopefully reduce that pain at that knee and that pain at that foot complex or anywhere else along the body. So check them out below and make sure that you hopefully assess yourself, find like a little measurement that you can use, whether it was your hand, your thumb, whatever, so that you know, maybe jot that down, write it in a notepad and keep it for later to see if you can progress that over time. Don't forget, if you love what you're learning, I have so much more in stock for you. So hit that subscribe button, check out the other videos I've done in the past, and leave any comments of any suggestions that you have for videos in the future. And I can't wait to help you feel incredible and amazing within your body.